COVID-19 vaccine. I was excited to receive the COVID vaccine this week. As an allergist, immunologist, I can speak to some of the concerns out there about this new vaccine. 1. Is mRNA technology safe? Yes. Although there are a lot of conspiracies out there regarding COVID mRNA reverse encoding into our human DNA, that is not biologically plausible. There are no extra enzymes or proteins present for this to occur. 2. Can I get the vaccine if I have asthma, environmental, or food allergies? Yes. The details of anaphylaxis-like reactions are still being investigated. But needless to say, the messaging after these reactions occurred was broad and vague by the European authorities, that is anyone with any type of allergy cannot get the COVID vaccine. The correct guidance is that everyone will be monitored for 15 minutes after receiving the vaccine. If you have any type of an allergy, to foods, etc., then the monitoring period is extended 30 minutes only if you have true anaphylaxis with other vaccines. You should first consult with your physician before receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. 3. Can I get the COVID-19 vaccine if I have an immunodeficiency? Yes. This is not a live vaccine and should be able to be safely administered in those with weak and immune systems. The protective response may not be as robust due to their underlying immunodeficiency, however, is there no risk of contracting COVID-19 from this vaccine? 4. I have heard so many names, Pfizer or Moderna, which one should I get? The one which is most easily available for you. The safety and efficiency profiles for all of the vaccines are similar, and none has proven to be better than the other. The goal of mass vaccination is the achievement of herd immunity within the population. This can only happen if we all trust in science and get the vaccine as soon as it is available to us. 5. If I've had a COVID infection, do I still need to be vaccinated? Yes. We don't know how long immune memory to COVID-19 lasts, and the previous infection may not be enough to protect us in the long term. If you've had a recent COVID infection you need to have recovered from the infection prior to vaccination. Current evidence suggests that reinfection is rarely less than 90 days from the onset of infection. So an individual may choose to wait 90 days before receiving the vaccine. 6. After I get the vaccine, do I still need to wear a mask? Yes, for now. The vaccines have been shown to significantly prevent severe disease, meaning that if you contract COVID you are less likely to be symptomatic or have a bad outcome if you are symptomatic. But what is not known yet is if it prevents you from passing the infection to others. Masks are the primary modality to protect others from you and you from them. So, until the infectivity rate after vaccination is studied in greater detail, the responsible thing to do is wear a mask. The newer vaccine studies are showing potentially less able to pass the infection, so there is hope in sight. 7. What does it feel like to get the vaccine? I had a bit of a sore arm the night of my injection. The next morning, I felt great, no soreness, fever, or other symptoms. Vaccination will protect all of us at GGC, our families, our co-workers, and our patients. So please consider taking advantage of the vaccination opportunity at the medical center. Dr. Thomas Sternberg Allergy Immunology